Ah, yes, and now the bisons have gone mad. Yippee skippy. Well, I suppose four bison are better than, uh, a bunch of other animals. At least it's not, uh, freaking pugs again. Oh no, these tribal members who have stuff that I probably want. They are in the way of the bisons. Oh, hello. Sure, ensure safety. Oh no, guys, get away. Oh no, they cannot hear me. They have their AirPods in. Oh no. Is this a bad time to inform you people that any kind of animal shot on my property automatically become, uh, my property? Okay, good, because this is all my food now, thanks. So initially, these guys didn't want to come onto this property because of tribals, and oh my god, it's already happening. Okay, well. Wow, these, these guys are super chill, though. They're being attacked, and they're just like, eh, whatever. They just, uh... They're just like, no guys, we, we really gotta get to our hotel rooms. We really need to see how lavish our rooms are. Well, um, okay. But Acosta is kind of, uh, is kind of hurt. Ooh, but she did drop a, uh, a submachine gun. Thank you, ma'am. I suppose I can be semi-accommodating, though. If they're going to show up, I wouldn't want them to leave pissed or, you know... Missing a leg, even though she's in mind-shattering pain. Ah! But, uh, so, yeah, they can just stay in one of the nice rooms, uh, for free this time. Yeah. Okay, so you will not even stay in the tin silver beds? Why are you people so cheap? What is the deal here? Come on down to Brandenburg Rimworld Spa and Rimsort, where not only do we melt away all of your stress but we also heal your body and your soul literally we'll stop the mind numbing pain and i guess somewhere along the way sawyer also uh got hurt because he just uh passed out and needed saving and also just dropped his guns so you know free guns praise randy now we are uh beginning construction on a sort of I suppose, crypt or mausoleum of sorts, with me not really, uh, doing anything less of exploiting my colonists <laughs> as employees. There's not really a lot of recreation, and even though I should probably focus on this, if I do this, not only will I be able to properly, you know, immortalize Anatoly for the baller boss he is, um, but I'll also give my colonists, uh, a place to kind of go and, uh, get some recreation as they go and reflect and hopefully not uh, dig up his corpse anymore oh yes score 100 noise <coughs> oh, yes and another social fight it is melissa and theo are going at it hopefully this time melissa will not uh, completely knock the ever-living crap out of thero like she did with boris all right still has all of his body parts that's good for the moment Okay, Melissa, you can stop. Thank you. Yeah, Melissa is just a uh, Melissa is just a beast. She doesn't uh, she doesn't care. And the good old flu rears its ugly face. Wonderful. And of course, Aria Knights would be the one who would also get flu. So that's gonna be wonderful. So like right before she leaves, she's gonna be like, "Those filthy savages gave me the flu," and uh, and you know, and that and that's how our company just kind of breaks apart. Because some high-ranking Imperial piece of crap is like, I wouldn't stay there if you paid me. Unfortunately, I didn't see it happen, but our first batch of beer. Yes. We will call it Brandenburg Beer. The best beer in the rim. Now, before I actually sell the beer, I'm going to have to set up a gift shop. So I figure, why not put it over here next to our kind of, like, barracks? Because more than likely, if you're going to have people who are like, Tin silver is all I can afford. You know that they're holding out to buy the booze. And the shuttle has arrived to pick up Arianta's, or Arianites, however you want to call it. If I've been mispronouncing your name this entire time, I'm so sorry. But, uh, oh, okay. She's go oh, she had to pet the panther one more time. Understandable. Um, so yeah. She's gonna come in the middle of the night and she's gonna go, see you later, you're no longer my problem. Get out of here. Thank you for staying, please come back. No. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. 
Average mood of REM nights was 83 during the stay. Ha <laughs> ha, good job, me. Okay, and uh, it was so quick that I didn't even get to see it, but Butch and Mammy got into a fight. So I'm guessing it wasn't that bad, but yeah. Yes, please, Butch, continue fighting with the guests. I'm sure that will also be great. And now Talia has uh, the plague. So cool, flu and the plague in one go. But don't worry, Talia, good old Butch will take care of you, even though he has the flu. Hmm, time for quarantine. Oh, and Talia has given birth. We have plenty of animals, so that can only mean one thing. Someone is about to receive a Great Dane puppy. Ah, yes, and sometimes in a hotel on the rim, you have to deal with power outages. Because, uh, I know how to manage my power good, yeah? All right, well, it's not, uh, animals from the sky this time, but it is, uh, armor-piercing missiles. Only problem is we got these close by. And once again, I'm pretty sure that they, uh, they start going nuts right as you get close to them. Well, time to find out! Okay, so the best plan of action would probably be... to shoot, and then probably, uh, run away. Oh my god. Yes, please, run away. That is a lot of buggies. Please shoot them in the face. This is going to be a problem. Please run to the safety of our camp. Safety now being a uh, relatively questionable term. Well, but if they won't follow you... Yeah, shoot back at them. Pew pew! Yeah, get them! Please welcome the newest branch of the Brandenburg Enterprises. Brandenburg Security! Well, we're using some of the guns that the uh, Task Force 141 left for us when they uh, passed out. Oh, oh my god, for a second I thought that bison was uh, <laughs> was charging my dudes. <laughs> but instead he's just like, hey, what's going on guys? What's all this wreck? Are you killing bugs? Yeah, hey, what's, what's going on? Okay, well I'm just gonna go see you. I'm gonna go stick my head in this hole. Ooh, steamy. We're doing good. Keep going, bros. Oh no, it's time to retreat. It's probably time to run away. Oh, never mind. Whoever shot, uh, that was a good shot. It crippled him or something. You know, at this point, it's kind of like, why was I worried? I, I knew my guys were going to do good. Fingers crossed. They remain that way. So, yeah, um, while we're shooting at these bugs, if you're wondering why, uh, the bugs just kind of showed up out of nowhere on infested ship chunks, well, it's because they're part of the, uh, Vanilla Events Expanded mod. Or the vanilla expe- the vanilla the, the, the vanilla- I'm sorry. Remembering is hard. They are part of Vanilla Factions Expanded Insectoids. So yeah. So not only are they their own faction now, which you might have seen on the world map when we were on it earlier. No longer do they just show up for infestations. So I guess, uh, not as scary when they're not, uh, like, you know, in the middle of your, uh, rooms in your mountain base, so... Yeah! Now, infestations can still happen, so, uh... We'll still have to worry about that. But in better news, we can get our armor-piercing missiles now. Which, even though we can't sell, that'll make a great gift for somebody. No, it's kind of running out of steel, so I guess, uh, it's kind of good that those, uh, ship chunks showed up anyways. Because, uh, that's more steel and components for me. Now, we butchered up all those insects, and while insect meat is, uh, generally not liked by your colonist, um, you know, as always, we can make it a nice gift. I don't know what other people do with it, but th at that point, it's their problem and not mine. And I don't know who's gonna need these armor-piercing missiles, but they're, like I said, they're gonna make a great Christmas gift for little Timmy. All right, we got more visitors, this time from the Purple Empire. They didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to uh, get on the map because there were insects, but, um, maybe I missed one or two, or there's probably one sitting out there dying somewhere, but, uh, I don't know, more money. Oh, it's raid time. The Guago Kin League. All right, I didn't want to be friends with you guys anyways. <laughs> hey, found that one bug we were looking for. Good job, Maro. Now please die. And unfortunately, I was not paying attention, and uh, it wasn't them that hurt us. It was our own sentry guns that hurt us. So, um, yeah, need to remember that for next time. Now, unfortunately, you eventually get to a point to where sappers are going to start becoming a problem. But that's okay, because, uh... You know, here's hoping that we're still going to do okay. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. You don't get to stay at this hotel for free. Welcome, friends. 
please enjoy your stay. Uh, yes, it is my friend Whale once again. This time, uh, while everyone else went inside, he decided, Now, nah, you know what? I'm just going to lay out on this blood. It reminds me of home. Gift shop is now set up. Gift shop is more basically just, here's some beer. So we're going to see how well that uh, that does. I know that's not just necessarily the silver from the hotel itself, but uh, what hotel doesn't have a good bar? And we made our, uh, well, first, quote, sale that I actually saw. But hey, they'll give me, uh, they'll give me six silver for each beer, so... Uh, that's not too bad. Depending on uh, how big of a drunkard these people are, that uh, that might be some good money. Our transport transport pod is pretty much fully loaded. We're missing some insect meat, but I believe that's because we uh, some of our dogs and panthers ate it. Now, unfortunately, these uh, people who live in the mountains who really uber hate me, um, I guess uh, I can't convince them to be friends. So uh, instead, we're going to give a gift to Northwest Oasia. In uh, hopes that they will, uh, they will be my friends. They are the next, uh, the next lowest one. So off you go. I hope little Timmy gets happy. The people are gonna be like, "Oh boy, Timmy, what did you get for Christmas? Oh, I got this great Dane, and uh, I named him Jethro. And then I also got these, uh, these um, missiles. Yeah, they're for killing bad guys. Oh boy, Timmy, that's so great." Uh, Norman, this this dog just literally drank some alcohol. Alcohol. Warm. Oh boy, I'm going to be the colonist known for, uh, or the colony known for, uh, boozing up its Great Danes. Yes. Oh boy, Talia's pregnant again. Time for more puppies. Oh boy, time for more plague. Oh boy, look, infested ship crash. More bugs. Yippee skippy. Well, once again, at least they're far away. I'll have to, uh... Ooh, this is a big ship, though. Hmm, I wonder if that will make a difference. Well, we're gonna have to wait until our guys uh, deal with the plague before we can venture out and have them take care of that. Oh, look, but a mad raccoon. Which is now dead. I will never understand why insect meat is frowned upon as being like, Ooh, gross, why would we ever touch that? But then you will have a man-hunting raccoon that has gone crazy mad, and we will cook it up. And people will be like, yeah, that's acceptable. I like raccoon meat. And it's, okay, I guess rabies doesn't exist in this universe. And then it was mad rats. Our mausoleum slash crypt is now complete. So that means it's time for Anatoly to get out of his box. Well, and if all goes well, hopefully this will be the last time that Anatoly has to, uh be opened up and see the inside of this refrigerator where we also keep all of our crazy rats and raccoons and other food that we consume. And finally entombed in what hopefully will be his for real Z's final resting spot Anatoly is put into the sacred column where we may remember him forevermore. And with that I would say that's probably a good place to end the video. We have laid to rest a good friend and comrade and I will see you hopefully in the next episode so thank you for joining me have a good night and I will see you later bye